What is the total sum of the vectors formed by the sides of a quadrilateral A, B, C, D, namely B A vector, B C vector, C D vector, and D A vector? Okay, let's try to understand this problem. So here we will be considering a quadrilateral with vertices A, B, C, and D. Okay. Now we have the vector B A. So that means it's a directed line segment going from the vertex B towards A. Then we have BC vector, another vector going from B to C. Then we have CD vector, a vector going from the vertex C to D. And we have DA vector. Now, for this particular quadrilateral, we need to find to find the sum BA vector added to BC vector plus CD vector plus DA vector. Okay. Now what we'll do? We'll, uh, we will join B and D. Let's join B and D, and we consider it to be a vector going from B to D. Now, in triangle B, C, D, using the triangle law of vector addition, B, C vector added to C, D vector must be equals to B, D vector. Uh, let's call it number one. This is from the triangle law of vector addition. Next, we will consider the lower triangle, triangle A, B, D. So here we will begin with the vector BD vector. We will consider BD vector added to DA vector. So this must be equals to uh, BA vector. So let's call this number two. This is also obtained by using the triangle of vector addition. Now we add one and two. When we add one and two, we have BC vector plus CD vector plus BD vector plus da vector that will be equals to bd vector plus ba vector now clearly we can cancel out bd vector from both sides so this is going to give us a relation we have bc vector plus cd vector plus da vector that will be equals to ba vector let's call it number three now let's go to a problem uh, now finally we have ba vector added to so here we have BC vector plus CD vector plus DA vector. So what we can do, we have already obtained in three that BC plus CD plus DA, these three vectors sum up to give us BA vector. Now that means we have the first vector, that's BA, and the combination of these three vectors, that's also BA. Now that means that will be equal to two times BA vector. Now that means the sum of BA, BC, CD, and DA vector, that will be equal it will be equals to 2 times the vector BA.